Okay, so I just want to give a, a, a brief update. We're obviously still in, in the um, uh, extinguishment phase of this defensive fire. Uh, it appears that we've got a, a lot of it knocked down. Uh, we'll be out here for a while going through some hot spots, uh, trying to get through the seat of the fire. One of the biggest um, uh, positives we can take away right now is that everybody that resides in this uh, apartment building has been accounted for. Uh, we were able to work with the building management company, uh, Red Cross assisted, and we were able to account for everybody. So uh, that's, a, that's a positive right now that uh, there have been no injuries reported to this fire as of now, and uh, we have everybody accounted for. How many crews do you have right now, or firefighters? Um, wow, uh, you're gonna make me do some math real quick here. So I think we're in the neighborhood of about, upwards of about 70 firefighters. I can give you an exact number. Uh, but as, as this progresses, uh, they're, they've already started to downsize a little bit, get crews back into the city uh, so we can continue serving the rest of the city. So we'll keep the uh, required number of firefighters on scene uh, for as long as it takes and, and uh, continue to put out the fire, uh, go through the overhaul phase, do what we can do to uh, maybe assist with uh, some recovery of items if that's possible. Uh, and we'll rotate crews in and out of here probably for the evening. Do you know how many people were living here? How many units there were? I, I don't know. I don't have a number. I'll try to get a number for the next update, but I don't have that number. For anybody who resides here, what can they do in order to, you know, stay safe tonight? Because at this right. point, there's no re-entry. I'm going to re reference my notes here, Jade, and that's a good question. Uh, so the Red Cross, the Red Cross uh, has been on scene. They continue to be on scene and they have a remote location. Uh, if you are a resident of this structure that's been damaged, uh, you can go to the Church of the Cross at 1750 Eastgate. It's behind Monette's. They're, they're there now, and they'll start hopefully, hopefully start the process of uh, helping you find temporary residents and, and get, you, uh, get you going in that direction. So, uh, again, the address is 1750 Eastgate, uh, Church of the Cross, and they'll, they'll have representatives there. No yep. firefighters hurt, they're all doing okay? Yep, everybody's good. Again, it's a very taxing uh, fire. We've been out here since about 315, uh, but everybody's doing well. And one last thing for me, do you know how much longer it's gonna take? Is there any way to tell? No, you know, it's something like this. It's it's gonna be, there's several phases. Are, obviously, we're still putting out fire, but they're gonna probably have to start digging through to get to, to some uh, deep-seated fire to be able to get to that, as well as insist, uh, assist the investigators through the process of of going through this so we'll probably have a presence out here to an extent uh, through the evening into the morning uh, and maybe even to tomorrow so this will be an ongoing process do you have an idea of where the fire originated i don't there was uh, early reports that it was in a balcony area i don't know where the location was it appears that the bulk of the fire initially was on the back side on that l portion that extends to the back of the the property so uh th that's where we pretty much think that it initially started in that area. Uh, again, don't know what was burning, don't know what caused it. The investigators are looking at that.